Prof Chong. Hi. What are varicose veins? Healthy legs have valves in them. These valves allow for the smooth flow of blood from the foot towards the heart. Chronic venous insufficiency is a condition where the valves don't work effectively. As a result, the blood may pool in the legs. Over time, this causes increased pressure that may weaken the vessel wall, causing enlarged and twisted vessels called varicose veins. How do I know if I have varicose veins? Varicose veins may appear as dark blue protuberant vessels under the skin, like raised tunnels. They may be fine, like spider veins, or large, like true varicose veins. More often, patients seek help due to aesthetic concerns, but they may also have symptoms such as aches and cramps in their legs. The affected area may also be swollen, itchy. Patients usually complain that at the end of a long day standing, they feel very tired and their legs heavy, wanting to put their feet up. If inflamed, the area may also be tender to touch. Patients may also have itchy, swollen ankles. What are the causes of varicose veins? There are various factors for varicose veins. These include things like age, gender, family history, as well as factors such as obesity, multiple pregnancies. This can also happen in patients who have uh, prolonged standing or heavy lifting. How are varicose veins diagnosed? A venous duplex ultrasound scan can be done to pick up varicose veins, and these are subcutaneous veins which are at least 3 mm in size. What could the ultrasound pick up that aren't varicose veins? Varicose veins may be a sign of something more severe, venous reflux disease. If left untreated, these symptoms may worsen over time. You should speak to your doctor to understand if you have this condition. Yikes! So how do we treat or manage varicose veins? Varicose veins can be managed with either open or endovenous treatment or surgery. Options for this for endovenous treatment include things like glue ablation such as Benacil, radiofrequency ablation such as Closure Fast, as well as laser treatment, microwave ablation and chemical ablation. Let me share with you about two treatment modalities that we offer, Closure Fast and Venacil. The Closure Fast is performed as an outpatient basis. Under ultrasound guidance, the catheter is inserted into the diseased vein via a small cut in the skin. The catheter would then deliver heat energy to burn off the diseased vein, resulting it to seal close. Once the diseased vein is closed, blood will then be rerouted through other healthy veins in the body. Wow, what are the outcomes of the closure fast procedure? Patients experience an improvement in symptoms from two days, and then there's a continual improvement over the next one to two weeks. They also found to recover and return back to normal activities in the next few days. And also, there's also less pain experience compared to other treatment modalities. So how does Venacil compare to Closure Fast? In contrast to Closure Fast, which uses heat energy to seal off the disease vein, Venacil uses a medical adhesive delivered through this device to seal up the vein. Are there any differences in outcomes? Generally, we see similar outcomes for patients treated with both Closure Fast and Venacil. However, in patients treated with Venacil, they may experience less pain and bruising. And also, in patients treated with closure fast, we usually require multiple needle sticks and numbing medication. But in Venacil, you only require a single needle stick. And also, for patients treated with Venacil, you do not require to wear compression stockings after the procedure. How does one know which treatment is best? It's advisable to have a discussion with your doctor. Please make an appointment to find out what is the best option for you. I hope you have learned something about varicose veins today.